this is my official breakdown review for the Hanwei Practical Tai Chi Jian. The pieces are constructed of a rather shoddy plastic that is molded together. Very poor quality construction. As I'm rapidly finding with Hanwei, shitty quality products, but good quality blades, appear to be the norm. Now, what I was the most worried about was whether or not the tang itself was a rat tail. It is not a rat tail, it is actually properly forged. I'm not sure if it's machine cut, or if it is actually forged, but I know that the construction of the blade is at least worthy of being rebuilt. Now, the construction of the sheath, however, is very, very poor. Again. Conway quality products are very bad. The fittings are workable. I'm going to be keeping these. The pommel in the shape of the doorway to heaven. Very common in uh, Taoist and Buddhist philosophy. Generally, you'd see a Buddha sitting in the middle of one of these shapes. The braid work I'm keeping iron fittings, relatively inexpensive, but I think I'm going to keep these. They're actually pretty nice to look at. All this needs is a touch of bleach and it should be alright. I've had this sword for years, just recently got it back. A friend of mine took some pretty good care of it, at least he didn't take it outside and cut vegetables with it. Now, the interior of the Saya sheath, or whatever you want to call it, is very thin, flimsy plastic. The end is not even enclosed. Just a thin layer of plastic. Thin enough to... I don't know if you can see it very well there, but... Yeah, it's just a piece of plastic. Cracked like an eggshell. The other end is about the same. However, inside that, there were glued these two pieces. This is meant to act as some sort of koiguchi, but as you can see, it's really badly worn down. There was one for both sides of the blade, and they were fitted into here like a shim. Left and the right. I have pretty much completely destroyed this thing in order to salvage the pieces. That would be the um, Koiguchi right there. Again, another nice iron footing. I'm going to be keeping that. And the Kojiri. I don't know the words in Chinese. I don't speak Chinese. Relatively nice. I'm going to be keeping that. Now, the plans that I have for this blade are a cherry wood handle coated with tongue oil and maybe some Chinese knot work if I can figure out how to do it. Let's take a position this so you can get a proper look at the tang. Focus. As you can see, it's 
very solid. Lots and lots and lots of glue. This little nut here was a pain in my ass to get off. It still is a pain in the ass. As you can see, this is not like an ordinary hex nut. It is very oblong. And it took me three different kinds of tools to get it off. I had to sandwich it between two Mikuginuki and my vice. But eventually it did come off. Total pain in the ass. All in all, I spent about an hour gently breaking down this sword until I got tired of the handle not coming off and I snapped off this portion right here. But all in all, I'm glad it didn't break in my hands. <coughs> okay, final verdict. For $180, you get what you pay for. I'm thinking that all Hanway products are simply good quality fittings. All of this is good quality fittings. It's about a pound and a half of iron here. Very nice fittings. I'm going to be keeping these. Those go in the to be used pile. Now, when it comes to Hanway products, as I said, you get what you pay for, but again, you get what you pay for. This blade is a little bit more quality than I expected. However, I'd say for the, the blade itself and the fittings, I would be willing to pay at least 180 to 200 bucks, which is what I paid for this sword. Am I sad about destroying it? Of course not. I will be rebuilding this as soon as I get wood. This has been the review of the Hanwei Practical Taiji Jian. Thank you for watching. Stay sharp.